Have you been struggling with your eye health? Maybe you have cataracts, maybe there's a clouding of the lens of the eye, you have floaters, there could be decreased vision. Maybe you have changes in the pressure in your eyes with glaucoma and macular degeneration. Well, the link between leptin resistance and eye health is very compelling. We have something called melanopsin in our eyes, and this is very sensitive to blue light. It's actually a blue light detector. And melanopsin is the most important opsin that we have because it's the gatekeeper for our central retinal pathway and this links the retina which is at the back of the eye with the leptin receptor. Now melanopsin works with light that's in the 430 to 465 nanometer range. This is most prominent at dusk when we move from the bright daylight into the sunset time of the day. Leptin is responsive to light and leptin is secreted by our fat cells. UVA from the natural sunlight exposure penetrates our fat cells. So that's why sunlight exposure is something that I talk a lot about in my videos and why that's so important for our leptin resistance as well. And we know that leptin resistance is a dysfunction in our melanopsin. Blue light and also those man-made EMFs called non-native EMFs disrupt the mechanism between our melanopsin and our vitamin A, our retinol. So these disruptions now will definitely have an effect not only on our vision, but on our entire metabolism. That's why being in a toxic environment with a lot of artificial lights and energies around us and radiation from our Wi-Fi, from our cell phones, is always going to have a negative effect and impact on our vision, but on our overall cellular metabolism as well. We also know that blue light changes the atomic structure of leptin. So it's something that we have to be aware of in our environment. Natural blue light, a good thing. Too much artificial blue light, not a good thing. And that's one of the reasons why protecting your eyes with blue light blocking glasses is gonna be really important for regulating your circadian rhythms as well, because this whole process is regulated by the light. Today I explained the link between leptin resistance and eye health. I hope that you learned something new. I'd love to hear from you in the comments. And for tips to reverse your leptin resistance, please check out my video, Nine Tips to Reverse Leptin Resistance. I'll see you there.